Morning friends, it's Jen and it's Wednesday and I'm going to head to the store this morning. Unfortunately, I didn't get um, my grocery ads in this um, mail yesterday, so they'll probably come in another two hours, so I'm not waiting for that. Um, cost less was okay. I don't know what O'Brien's has because um, they're not on flip yet. Um, Save Mart is okay. However, let me show you uh, what I'm going to do with Save Mart. I stopped in at Save Mart uh, last week and um, I picked up some items and they had this at the end of my receipt uh, in three days. You know, do a survey and we'll you'll receive 5% off your next purchase. I've already done that and what they do once you complete um, once you complete the survey they will give you a code and you have to write it down here on these little lines and you present this coupon to the cashier and the cashier takes 5% um, off your total so I'm gonna stop in and do that plus they're having a sale on cheese store coupon i didn't check any of my coupons if i have any cheese to bring down the price but um, i definitely need cheese so purchasing five dollars and getting a dollar off isn't too bad so i'm going to go ahead and do that and i'm also thinking sorry for the light here and i'm also thinking of stopping up at dollar general to um look into their market side of the store and see uh, what they have maybe they have some stuff that's discounted but also what caught my eye in their sales ad is they have four pounds of hamburger patties <clears throat> excuse me for five dollars and it's a new product so i'm going to go take a look at that and see if that's something i could stock up on because four pounds and you know five dollars that's like $1.25 a pound of beef. So that's a really good deal. So basically, I'm going to just um, check out Markdowns. I'm going to stop at O'Brien's. I didn't get their ad. I don't know what they have on sale. So I was thinking of picking up their ad and also looking at their Markdowns and going to Save Mart and their Markdowns and going to uh, Dollar General today. Okay, friends, let's go. Okay, so O'Brien's had a uh, it was okay kind of sales um i did you know they had their squash was on sale for like 69 cents a pound which i got a couple of pounds of squash and their markdowns they had some reasonable markdowns but a lot of stuff i couldn't use um they did have markdowns on their sour cream though, which was really good, 99 cents. I kind of feel like I should have bought two more because we use it and you know, you could freeze it because um, we use a lot of sour cream. So that was probably one of my big mistakes there. I didn't buy, should have bought four. And now I'm gonna head off to Save Mart to go check their uh, discounted area. O'Brien's had uh, drumsticks on sale for 79 cents a pound. But, you know, I'm not, usually, I'm not a picky person. I usually go for the price. Like, wow, that's a great price. I'm getting it. But the uh, chicken drumstick legs, they were huge. They looked like they could pass for turkey legs. And that kind of makes me, it just grossed me out <clears throat> to say the least I kind of felt ugh, the way they looked and they were so huge and I'm so used to chicken legs being like more you know like this wide or something these ones were like this and yeah you can you can say you get more meat for that price but I don't know it just kind of grossed me out so I didn't bother picking up any um, any drumsticks so hopefully I'll have a better <clears throat> a better, excuse me, I'll have a better um, shopping experience at Save Mart. Look at all the corn. It's 
like telling me that fall is coming and summer's leaving, which is very depressing to me. All of this corn. getting the field ready for something. Oh, I forgot. I gotta go check to see. We're already here at... See how close it is from O'Brien to Save Mart? That's how close it is. Anyways, I gotta go check that, um, that stand over there because when I was driving by last week, I took the corn. I saw that the peaches were either 49 cents a pound Dollar General. Okay, friends, so I'm back from the store and I did have some good uh, items that I picked up. And let me go ahead and show you what I purchased. Starting with Save Mart, this is exactly what I was looking and hoping for that I would find today, and I did. I got a jackpot here. Now, uh, I picked up 11 ounces of a blend of baby spring mix and baby spinach. That's some lettuce. Triple washed, ready to go. It is organic. USDA organic. So I picked up two of those. So these here are regularly $4.99. And here, if you saw earlier in my video, they had a $3 off coupon here. So I got $3 off of this. So $1.99 each for these. So we can have nice salads. And here's a spinach. Spinach as well was $4.99 a pop. Organic. This as well, this was two, I don't remember how much this was. Oh, $2.99 and there was a $2 off, no, $1 off coupon on this. So we have some kale and some beet salad. Comes with kale, cabbage, beets. Oh, beets, I love beets and carrots. Okay, and then Brussels sprouts were on clearance as well for $2.69. There was a dollar off here. And the tofu, which I'll eat, nobody else in the family eats, is $2.49 per pack of tofu. And there was a dollar off here. So I got this here. And I also looked on the internet. So they said that the silken style tofu is freezable. So I'm going to freeze these two since I still have one more I need to use. And then in order to use that cheese coupon, I needed to purchase $5 or more of cheese. So this was $4.99, and I bought this little small one for $0.50. Cents. So my grand total for all of this here, before tech, before coupons, was $41.85. Okay? So I saved... $22.04 because I only paid, where is it at? Right here. My subtotal was $19.81. You know, sometimes, you know how they say eating healthy is expensive? And yeah, I mean, I do agree, but this is, if you have stores that have offer these markdowns, this is a great way. This is how I uh, save money on my grocery bill by buying uh, sale items and as well as visiting the markdown uh, section of each department in the grocery stores. So this is why I said in previous videos why I have a love-hate relationship with Save Mart because I hate that their prices are so expensive, but I love that they have the markdown section on produce as well and so if you see here um here's the survey discount five percent off there's the dollar off cheese coupon that i had so they took a dollar off of this 
20 cents off for the discount, 5% discount for doing the survey. And then here for the little small cheese, 50 cents, they gave me. Uh, baking soda was on markdown at Save Mart 2 for 75 cents. So I picked this up. This is going to be for cleaning my sinks and my tub and things like that. Okay, so here's O'Brien's. Pretty much everything here is on the markdown section, except for those. So zucchini, like I said, was uh, 69 cents a pound. So I bought about a little under three pounds of zucchini. And this I bought because I'm going to open this and divide it in half and make some kind of sauce with uh, that masa, corn masa I have. I'm going to um, maybe make some tostadas or something with it. With this, I don't think I'm going to do any uh, enchiladas with it. And then olives is always great to have because this could be used for pasta salads. This was marked down to 50 cents. 59 cents you can't see it and then I found this pizza crust was on markdown as well and it was 89 cents so I picked that up and then this is what I wish I would have purchased more these were 99 cents per canister and it is 16 ounces so one pound of sour cream and sour cream can be frozen so and it just expired a couple of days ago which is still great there's nothing wrong with it and of course when I buy things like this I always buy and stock up put in my freezer until I need it so 75 cents for this is not bad and then I thought this would be nice because all you need with this is some sour cream so I picked up some spinach dip that was marked down to 50 cents as well 50 cents okay and here's my receipt for O'Brien's Miss Pris down there is so here's what I spent at O'Brien's so $8.68 for all of this here. Okay, so last but not least is Dollar General. And this is what I picked up. They had coupons for this. I think it was $0.25 cents off. So this was $0.75. Cents. This as well, they had coupons for this. Uh, this one was 20 ounces. So I thought I'd pick this up. And there's actually two coupons. So this one is 22 ounces for cinnamon toasters. And this is the s'mores. Um, let's see. And then here's flour tortillas for $2.75. Grape jelly. Uh, that was $1.50. And there was a 50 cent off coupon I loaded to my account. So this was $1. And uh, cantaloupes were $1 each. Limes were five, uh, 10 for a dollar, but I only got five because they're, they're getting hard right away, so I don't want to waste them. And strawberries were $2 each, so I picked two of those up. And then jalapenos here for salsa. And uh, I picked up some vegetable here. Those were marked down to 50% off. They're regularly uh, 30 a dollar or something. I'll check it out. Yeah, a dollar ninety-five. So dollar ninety-five for those. And then here now for meat wise, Dollar General is really good at their discounts. They have chubs, three pound chubs of ground beef. They weren't on markdown today, but I have purchased their ground beef before on 50% off, getting them for like a little over $3 a chub. Really great meat. I their meat is really good quality. I liked it. My son even liked it, and he's usually picky about the meat. So I got just a little under three pounds of pork spare ribs. Uh, they're at 870 
So uh, I got them for 50% off, which is not too bad. So it's like, what, $4.30 maybe? And then here as well, they have the beef stew meat was on sale for a pound. And uh, I got it for $3 after the 50% off discount. So here it is, friends. Here is my grocery haul for today. Went specially to Dollar General. I'm going to see about incorporating Dollar General a little more. You know, especially when they have the digital coupons, which aren't too many things that I would buy with it. But, I, of course, I had a request for cereal, and I thought getting some of these. This chili cheese corn chips are good when you scoop them into cottage cheese. you got to give it a try. It's delicious. Unfortunately, I don't have any today. But here, any cottage cheese. But here it is, friends. Here is my grocery haul for today. Hey friends, so really quick what I wanted to share is yesterday I purchased this nice Black & Decker toaster oven that was on sale at Target for $19.99. I've been wanting a toaster oven for quite a few years. I never got it. Um, I did see a couple of them at the thrift stores and um, I never purchased them. One was $7 and some cents. And then I think uh, six months later, I found one for like $13. But I'm really glad that I waited because I got a new one unused for $19.99. So if you're in need of a toaster oven, you should head out to Target before they close because this is perfect for summertime when you need to toast a couple of things or heat certain things up in the oven but you don't want to put the whole oven on and you know put a lot of heat in your home so this is what I purchased on savings okay so I spent let's just say this out of all the stores that I went to today let's add up all the stores that I went to today that's Dollar General O'Brien's and Save Mart. Everything I purchased before any discounts and coupons, except for O'Brien's. O'Brien's, I can't figure out how much uh, savings I had there, but it was a pretty good size um, savings. So, from all three stores before coupons and um, discounts, Everything I purchased would have been $87.88. I added all of it up. And then, uh, let's see, my savings. So at Save Mart, I saved $22.04 on markdowns and coupons, the survey coupon. And at Dollar General, I saved $13.30. And then at O'Brien's, I don't know how much I saved. I, I don't know what the original prices are for those, but um, I'm pretty sure it's a pretty good, I would say maybe I saved an extra $5 there, maybe. So you could say maybe $40, but so $87.88 for everything I purchased today. After my coupons and all of that stuff, I only spent $52.52 .52 out of pocket. And I have five, six, and seven dollars after my leftover from my budget. And this, I've already made a decision. I'm going to go ahead and put this towards uh, one of our, one of my husbands. I only have one credit card. Um, so out of my husband's, uh, his Home Depot card. I'm going to put this because they're just down the street so I can go in and pay cash. So I'm going to put $7 towards his Home Depot charge card and pay that down slowly. And then now I'm going to go over um, my meal idea, my meal plan. Meal plan, but I just want you to see who I came upstairs to my bedroom and who follows me up here. Miss Izzy. Okay, friends, so 
here are my meal ideas this is what i had in my freezer pantry along with and here was my list but as you notice i did pick up some other things i did like i said i was really looking for and hoping that save martin had reduced um produce like spinach and lettuce and stuff like that which is what i was looking for for myself okay so my i'm combining my dinner and lunches because i think they can interchange so i have to scratch off there's going to be veggies, so chicken and veggie tacos with brown rice. I'm going to really utilize my brown rice as much as possible because I do have a lot of it. And then with those uh, bags of corn, you saw my video on Monday what I have. Um, I'm going to do corn and potato soup and garlic toast. So I'm just going to put some butter on, some bread, and uh, put it in my new toaster oven so I don't have to turn on the heat uh, the oven the big oven and we'll have that one night and then this would most likely is going to be a lunch idea egg salad sandwiches and then here uh stir fry veggies with tofu and brown rice my boy said no tofu do chicken so i'm going to do tofu for myself and then add some chicken i have about three legs of chicken left in my uh freezer and I do have three of those pork chops from last week in my freezer as well. That was wrapped up in foil on my um, countertop. Um, if you saw my video, my pantry video on Monday. And then um, I'm going to use some chicken as well to do fajita bowls with brown rice and salsa. And then that turkey lunch meat foster farms I bought, I divided it into uh, little baggies. So I have most of it in the freezer, so we'll do that. Some sandwiches with pasta salad. And of course, Indian pork tacos. And then with my spare ribs that I bought, I figured if it's not too hot this weekend, I think it's really gonna be triple digits, but maybe my husband will be in the mood. We'll do those spare ribs, saute some spinach, and do some tortillas on the grill with barbecue sauce, my grandpa. My mom's dad, um, I don't know if he discovered it, but that's something that he did and we love it. And then with the beef, so today this is what I'm going to make for our lunch today. We're going to have saute beef with some onions and then that discounted uh, green giant veggie medley that I got from uh, Dollar General. I'm going to use um, saute those and we're going to have it over brown rice. And breakfast ideas are going to be the eggs. I have eggs, tomatoes, and lettuce. So we're going to do some sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches, uh, cream of wheat with berries. And, of course, I have potatoes and eggs. I'm going to utilize those eggs. So eggs and fried potatoes. And um, I don't know. I figure something out with those tortillas. And also, another idea I need to write down is I want to do some... Um, wraps so with that turkey lunch meat so turkey and the cream cheese with lettuce and tomato and all that good stuff um tortilla wraps so that'll be a nice um something different than using bread okay friends so that's my haul slash meal plan and that's how I like to save uh, money on my grocery bill by shopping the uh, reduced markdown sections of the grocery stores. And um, so if you've never done that before, um, check your grocery store and see if they have any markdowns in their produce and their bread and especially the meat. Okay, friends, so thank you so much for watching. And if you like these type of videos, please give me a comment below and uh, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.